Hey everybody, how's it going? I want to do a quick mini review of a Wi-Fi 6 router that I bought off Newegg for 50 bucks. It's this guy right here. Uh, Wavelength AX3000 Gigabit Wi-Fi 6 Mesh Router. Uh, and that's a lot of words in one spot. I've got it set up here in my media panel, and that's great. And so far it's been working fine. I've had it up here for a week. Uh, so just as a quick overview, it's a Wi-Fi 6 capable router. It does have mesh technology, so if you have multiples, you can kind of link them all together to get a bigger, wider net cast over your Wi-Fi. So you have one big Wi-Fi network that reaches farther than just a single router by itself would. Um, there's better videos on how to set that stuff up than I have, and I'm not using it that way, so it's not a big deal to me. Um, it does only have two LAN ports on the back instead of four, like a traditional router would have. So that may be a deal breaker for you. They do offer another AX3000. It's stupid. I don't know why they've used the same name between both of them, but if you go to Wavelink's website and you look at an AX3000, it's going to be a big round router with four antennas sticking up. And it's basically the same thing, minus the mesh, but with two extra ports. So it's kind of a trade-off. But this particular one was 50 bucks on Newegg. I bought a pair of them, and uh, I decided to use one here in the shed because my VR headset is constantly being streamed games from the computer, and the more bandwidth I have locally between the computer and the headset, the better the games are going to perform. My old Linksys EA8300, I think it was, was not a Wi-Fi 6 router. I was getting a link of 7 to 860 or so, I think it was 766 and 860 megabits per second is what the screen was saying. Games were still working fine. It wasn't like I had a problem. But I decided for 50 bucks, let's give a Wi-Fi 6 router a shot, see if it makes a difference. I do get a link speed now of 1.2 gigabits per second, 1,200 megabits per second. So I do definitely have a speed increase there. I can get my full speed across the wireless. I've had no problems with it when it comes to using the device. So if you just want the quick overview, for 50 bucks, as long as you're not using a lot of the ports on the back for wired stuff, um, then... Or if you need the mesh, it's not a bad deal for 50 bucks. It's hard to find a Wi-Fi 6. It's hard to find any router for 50 bucks, much less a Wi-Fi 6. Most of them I've seen are looking at $80 on up or $120 on up in the stores. So again, 50 bucks, cheap Wi-Fi 6 router. It actually does work pretty well. Um, I'm going to just kind of show real quick the overview and struggles I've had. Not that there's been many struggles um, as far as that goes. Real quick, the one thing I don't like about it is the design. The antennas stick straight up like this. So if you picture this sitting on a desk, you can see that they would just sit up in the air. They do angle out as well. The problem is, is that here in my media panel, um, well, that, that doesn't work and uh, they don't lay flat. I wish two of them were on the top like my EA was. Uh, fortunately, this will still close. Barely, but I don't like the design of the antennas. Uh, that said, though, most people, that's not going to be a problem, and it works just fine. If we come over here, we're going to sit down. I'm going to show you the, the interface real quick. I'm just going to point my camera at the screen. All right, so here is the home screen. Now, the one thing I will mention is that they give you a login link. It's literally wavelogin.link, which is supposed to take you, and it doesn't. You can see that we are not getting linked to our connection. We are connected via Wi-Fi right here, and uh, we're not getting it. But if we go to the IP address it gives, 192.168.10.1, it logs in fine. So that's the only hiccup I've really had. Other things on it real quick. So you've got the device itself. You've got different screens. So you've got home, terminal, wireless, advanced, and device at the top. So those are up here. Terminal will bring you over and it'll show you anything that's connected. Anything that's been connected is offline. Uh, wireless gives you your options for your 2.4 and your 5 gigahertz bands. You can... By default, it comes combined. I've split mine out, but you can leave them as a combined unit. So everything will set up all the same, and it will differentiate between 2.4 and 5, depending on the device that's hooked up. And then you have advanced down here where you can things like hide the SSDs. You can change your, your bands and your channels and all that fun stuff. The advanced tab, you actually get kind of a, a GUI interface like this. So for security settings, you can click on that. Uh, you can go to your port forwarding. Only thing with the port forwarding is you can't just pick the device out of a list. You actually have to know what your IP address is. So that's the thing. Um, but you've got a whole bunch of stuff down here that you can play with. Basically traditional router stuff, but 
in a graphical interface that makes it look pretty. But otherwise, though, it works pretty well. You can turn on guest Wi-Fi. I actually don't have that turned on, but I may at some point. And this is your mesh network. If you had multiples, you'd be able to see them all together and you'd be able to click on a button and it would show you like a map of where things are and how they all work and all that fun stuff. So it's a relatively basic piece of hardware, but for 50 bucks, again, if you don't have a need for extra wired connections coming out of the back, it's a good option. If you need something with mesh technology and you don't want to get into a higher end system like a Ubiquiti or something, possibly a good option. Or if you're a gamer and you've got a headset and you do a lot of PC streaming and you're looking for something, a newer Wi-Fi 6 bridge between your PC and your headset, for 50 bucks, you can do pretty good for, for that. So I've had no problems with range. It's been perfectly fine. Signal strength and range have been the same as all my other routers have been. I've had no issues with it. It doesn't overheat. I've had people say, oh, it gets really hot. I, it's not even warm in there. And this is an enclosed case. I mean, obviously it's got venting on it, but this is an enclosed case and you can't feel anything on here. So I don't believe any of the reviews that I've read where it said it's been warm have applied to either this particular model. Maybe they're talking about the round one. I don't know. Mine's been perfectly fine. Again, I'm rewiring everything. So I just figured I would quick show that new Wi-Fi 6 router, the Wavelink AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 gigabit mesh router. There you go. So, hope it helps.